Hello, JC Dance Co. Dancers. Teacher Joel here with day five of our Corona Quarantine Daily Vlog. In today's vlog, we're going to talk about posture, posture, posture. Specifically, four exercises that you can do at home while you're being quarantined and safe so that you can work on perfect posture. Now, why do we want to have perfect posture? Well, as dancers, we want to be able to move well and efficiently. We like to connect well and efficiently with our partners and most importantly we want to look good too so let's get started with exercise number one and this has to do with pelvic tilt i know my head's probably cut off at the moment but a lot of the times we end up standing or dancing a little bit like this and if you notice my bum is sticking out my belly is sticking out in front and this is one of the main reasons why we end up having lower back pain so here's our first exercise on how to improve our pelvic tilt and our abdominal activation. So start by lying down on the floor, something hard and something flat. And what I'd like you to do is to place one hand underneath your lower back or your lumbar. You can see how my fingers are just wiggling out to show you where my hand is. Second hand is gonna be placed right above that first hand, right where your belly button is. From here, what I'd like you to do is contract your abdominal muscles or your front muscles so that your spine goes down and pushes against the hand underneath. Then release and you can feel how there's less pressure on the hand below. Try that again. Press it in. Hold it for a few seconds and then release it again. What I'd like you to be able to do is have an awareness of the straightening of your lumbar spine and also of the activation through the front of your lower body. Try to hold this for five to ten seconds, making sure that you can still breathe through your belly breathing. We talked about this in an earlier vlog and then being able to let that go. Once you get a sense of that, what I'd like you to try to do is when you're at home standing around, whether it's washing dishes or whatever, being able to try to do that same exercise with a hand behind and a hand in front, be able to replicate that same sort of idea. Eventually what you can do is be able to take your hands away, activate your core in the same manner, and be able to have your arms and dance position. All right, let's move on to exercise number two. And we're gonna talk about exercising now our middle back. And a lot of times because we're on the, t on the iPad or on the computer or watching television, we end up having a rounded middle back. This is something that we dancers try not to have at any time during our dancing. So a very simple yet challenging exercise, especially for guys, is being able to sit with our legs straight and being able to have a nice straight vertical spine. Now it looks fairly simple, but really it's actually quite challenging. A lot of people when they first start doing this will end up sagging either the lower back or even their middle back and end up sitting like this. So much so that they have to hold on to their, hand, their hands onto their legs before they fall backwards. What I'd like you to be able to do is to try as best as possible to sit up straight so that your head is nice and pulled up towards the ceiling and being able to have a nice straight back. One thing that you can do to check your alignment is either to use something like a foam roller or you can go up against the wall. Scoot your bum right up against the wall and be able to feel like your the back of your bum or the top of your bum, the lower back and your upper and middle back are all touching the wall. Here I am touching against the foam roller. Now, we can have that sort of alignment, which is usually somewhat um, easy because we can lean up against the wall. But then what I'd like you to do is scooch yourself out away from the wall and see if you can still maintain that same posture. Hold it for as long as you can, and afterwards, uh, Give yourself a break, shake it out, and we're gonna try it again. You push yourself up against the wall, make sure that we're good, then scoot yourself away from the wall, see if we can maintain that. For a lot of ladies, this is gonna be fairly easy for us, um, for us ladies, but for gentlemen, we need to make sure that we do this really cleanly and we want to make sure that we're not either touching the wall with our lower back or our middle back, and this will be a really good exercise. If this is really easy for you, you can start to um, incorporate little rotations while maintaining that verticality, as well as maybe sway actions as well. Moving on to exercise number three. 
Um, one thing that we want to do within posture is to make sure that our shoulders are not rolled forwards and our chest isn't being enclosed. I'll show that from a different angle. Here my shoulders are rolled forwards and my ch chest is not closed. What we want to be able to do when we're dancing is we want to be able to open up the chest and roll the shoulders down and backwards. So here we go. Exercise number three, back onto the floor. What I'd like you to be able to do on the first level of progression of this exercise, placing your hands lightly on the ground and letting your arms relax is just making sure that you can feel that your shoulders are resting nicely on the ground. A lot of times, maybe if we're not used to having this posture, you'll start to feel that there's a lot of space in between your shoulder and the ground. You can take your other hand and bring it and just check and see is that shoulder there. And what I'd like you to be able to do is again, just like in exercise number one, placing your hand on the ground or on your shoulder and see if you can squeeze that shoulder down and back against the ground. And you're gonna switch to the other side. Whenever we're doing these type of exercises, make sure you do both sides as well, okay? Once you get a sense of that, use both shoulders at the same time. And if that's fairly simple for you, what you can do is you can start to press the shoulders down and feel like the chest is coming up. Now keep in mind we can easily make the chest come up because of usage of our lower back or our middle back and we want to not use those muscle groups in this exercise. We're just using now the upper back and right behind the shoulders here to be able to pull those shoulders down and the result is now that the chest opens up and it actually moves away from the ground. Once we get that sensation and that activation, we can then continue to do this without using the ground and be able to have that same activation. You're gonna feel it through the back over here. All right, exercise number four, we're gonna talk about head position. Now, whenever we're dancing, we always wanna have a nice tall head position. We don't wanna have a nice or, or a funny forward head position when we're dancing. So let's get ourselves back onto the ground. And one thing to do is just practice again our alignment. Now, if you feel that this is already straining your, your neck, what you can do is you can take some sort of book, place it on the ground. A lot of times people use yoga blocks. If you, if you have a yoga block, you can, you can put that on the ground and you can place that so that there isn't as much strain. Eventually what you wanna do is get smaller and smaller or thinner books until you get yourself down to the ground. So that would be a really great progression already to have the flexibility. If this is already um, simple for you what, you, what I'd like you to do next is to be able to push your head down into the ground, and put a little bit of pressure. Now, I don't want you to feel like you're gonna pop up your chest or pick up your shoulders off the ground. Just push enough so that you start to feel the activation at the back of your neck. Yeah. If all of that is really simple for you, we're gonna try a different exercise where you're going to end up now lying face first. You can place your hands down on the floor so that you don't hurt your forehead or bash your nose into the floor. And what I'd like you to be able to do is pick up your head ever so slightly off the ground and then place it back down. You're gonna come up and then place the head back down. When you're doing this, please make sure that you don't tilt so we're not changing now your eyesight from going looking down towards the ground and then looking out in front of you. What you're gonna be able to do is just bring your head up, your eyes are still looking at your fingers, and then right back down. And you're gonna hopefully start to feel now that there is activation through the neck. We are not trying to pick up through the back. That's a different exercise entirely. But right now, we're just, we're just looking at activating the posterior postural muscles in the neck. All right, there we have it everybody. Whew. Um, try these exercises slowly first, take your time during them, and really make sure that you're feeling which um, alignments and muscle groups you're trying to activate. As always, thank you very much for watching the video. I really appreciate all of the comments that I'm getting on email, as well as in the few comments um, in the previous videos. If you like what's happening, please like and subscribe down below just so that I feel that there is some engagement and that you guys are looking to connect back to me and to Clara so that we know what it is that you want for future vlogs. Please be safe. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.